Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on the latest 4.3.5 firmware. Now before we begin, there are a couple of things I do want to go over. First of all, this jailbreak does support most but not all devices. So it does support the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, as well as the iPad 1. This does not currently support the iPad 2. In addition, it is a tethered jailbreak. Now, a tethered jailbreak means that after every single time you need to reboot your device, you will need to rerun Redstone and boot as tethered, which I will show you guys how to do that in just a little bit. Now, if you're already on some earlier version of iOS, uh, you can absolutely feel free to skip 4.3.4 as well as 4.3.5. However, if you're already on 4.3.5, or if you get a new device that comes with 4.3.5 or whatever, you can go ahead and do the jailbreak. Alright, so you will need three things to do the jailbreak. First of all, you're going to need the Red Snow program itself. This is what we're going to be using to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Uh, you'll be able to download this from the link in the description. It is available for both Mac and Windows, and I will be giving the tutorial for both. Uh, now secondly, you're going to need two firmware files. You're going to need your 4.3.4 firmware for your device, as well as the 4.3.5. Uh, now again, I'll have a link in the description. You may already have one or both of these on your computer. Otherwise, you can just download them. So again, be sure to hit the link in the description for all the information you need. If you're on Windows, there's one additional step. Right click the Red Snow executable file, hit properties, then come over to compatibility. Now at this point you need to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 as well as run this program as an administrator. Now you will only need to do this if you are on Windows Vista or Windows 7. If you are on Windows XP or some version of OS 10, you can feel free to skip this step. Right, so let's go ahead and open up Red Snow and begin the jailbreak. So the first step is to find the IPSW. Now, contrary to what you might think, you actually need to find the 4.3.4 IPSW here. So we go ahead and select that, give it just a moment to process our firmware, and click Next. And basically what we were doing is tricking Redstone into thinking we're on 4.3.4, but the jailbreak will indeed work for 4.3.5. All right, so the next step is we have a few options. Uh, so install city is the number one most important thing. Be sure that, that is checked. Install custom bundle. If you know what you're doing with that, you can feel free to install that. Uh, you also have options to enable battery percentage as well as multitask gestures. Uh, now battery percentage, if you're on iPod Touch, is fantastic. You might as well enable that. And you can also do multitask gestures. I'm not going to be doing that right now. We also have boot tethered right now, and that will be, I will give you guys a little demo of that in just a minute. But go ahead and just make sure that install city is checked and any other options you want, and click next. At this point, be sure to connect your iPod, iPhone, or iPad via USB to your computer. Uh, now, this is not an entirely necessary step, but I do recommend it, and that is to allow iTunes to fully sync and back up all your data. You should not lose any data in the jailbreak, however, there's always a chance that something could go wrong, so by doing that, you will be covered. Alright, so now at this point, we need to put, go into DFU mode. If you've ever jailbroken before, especially with Red Snow, you'll probably be very familiar with this. But in case you haven't, uh, it's very simple. So, uh, I will walk you through it, and of course, the, countdown, uh, the program does have a countdown timer as well. Alright, so as soon as we click next, we need to hold the power button for 3 seconds. And now hold the power as well as the home button for 10 seconds. Alright, so just continue holding it. Should be just about like this. 2, 1. Okay, now release the power button and continue holding the home button. Uh, now it says 15 seconds. Typically it's going to be like 6 or 7 seconds. But again, just hold it until you get this screen right there. Okay, so now at this point we're pretty much done. We just need to allow Red Snow to run through and uh, work its magic. It says downloading jailbreak data. It's rebooting. And then all of a sudden you will see lots of lines of code running across our device. This is good. This means it is working. So at this point, just go ahead and sit back. It will take a few minutes to run through and get everything properly set up. So we'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so we're all done. So just simply slide to unlock. And if you scroll over to your last page, you will now see Cydia. However, we're not quite done yet. As you guys can see here, if you open it, it's not really going to do anything. So now what we need to do is go back into Red Snow and boot his tether so everything will work properly. Okay, so now at this point we need to reopen Red Snow and go through the same process we did before. Just let your 4.3.4 IPSW, lot to process and all that kind of stuff. Uh, now instead of running the full jailbreak, however, we're just going to need to boot as tethered. And this is something I definitely want to stress. Uh, just be sure to click just boot tether right now, ignore everything else. But this is something I definitely want to stress is that you're going to have to do this every single time you reboot your device. So whether you install uh, something like Winterboard and need to reboot, you will need to rerun Red Snow, or for any reason. So it's not like you just have to run this once and do it forever. Every single time you need to reboot, you will need to rerun Red Snow, and I want to be very clear about that. Right, so let's go ahead and pull our device on screen and resize this so you can see. And again, we just need to go into DFU mode just like we did before. Okay, so we're all done. Now this time, if we scroll over to our second page, you will now see Cydia installed. So as soon as you see this, you're pretty much good to go. It will ask, who are you? You can just select whoever you like. Hit done, and allow it to fully sync for the first time. 
So there you guys go, this is a full tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on iOS 4.3.5. Anyway guys, if you have any questions, comments, problems, you name it, definitely be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. And if you enjoyed, definitely be sure to subscribe for lots more jailbreaking content.